Hello and welcome. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This will be the twelfth episode of our Let's Play the Duke of Bulgar, now Khan of Volga Bulgaria. And where we left off last, we just wrapped up two holy wars fairly quickly. And it's time now to expand into more places. Uh, let's see, has this duke died yet? Can we declare war on you again? Nope. Can I kill you? Does anyone want you dead? Your death would be most fortunate for me. I can get a little bit of support. Not much, but I think we'll be able to get enough to murder him. That'll allow me to attack again and slowly conquest my my land back that I shouldn't have given away on accident. He's actually got, a, I mean, some military. There's, a, well, 28 men, apparently. What, is it still suffering from penalties or something? No, it looks like everyone hates him. I'm not really sure why. He doesn't have very many men. But, um, yeah. Where to go? Declare a holy war on this guy. We have a truce with him, apparently, but that would piss off the Suomenuskos, of which there are mm, almost none. So yeah, we'll do another holy war. We'll go with Estonia here as well. Let's take the largest chunk we can get. How about the holy war for that? And while we're at it, holy war for... Nope, got a truce with you. This guy's revolting against his liege, so he's not likely to stay for long, but we'll try. That'll just be the first one we go for. So, let's raise up our men. And head that way. How are we doing on vassal opinion? Hmm. Got some barons that absolutely hate me. I think this guy's still mad at me because I fired him. Because I keep making my, my horse the chancellor. <laughs> uh, let's see. Being a lunatic and craven's not good. Harsh ict attacks is bad. We have a big raised level raised levy penalty. And we still have that raised increased crown authority penalty as well. But overall... Uh, most people are pretty well okay with us. In fact, most of the people we've given land to love us. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and start upgrading some holdings. Got spare money. So let's do this. Let's get some, sure, some villages going. Start building five castles, castle villages. Even though most of my income does not come from my own personal land, it's still good to upgrade because there's a there's definitely a positive return on investment from doing it. And are we going to send enough men through there to clear it out? Let's make sure we do. Yeah, sure, we'll help your war, whatever. Hey, it's another daughter. That's important. Apparently I have the game on very fast speed. In fact, I've lost quite a bit of my men because I accidentally sent them into the army before the rest got there. Shoot. Retreat! Come here! Stay here. Okay, fine. Go here. Might as well call our allies to war again. See if we can get them to come help or clean up some of the armies that wander around. And we've got enough money to do some more upgrades, so let's get a couple more villi castle villages going. Hey, somebody actually refused. Two people did. Three. Yay. It's good that they're actually fighting back slightly. Or I guess I wouldn't say fighting back, but, you know, not just blindly following me. Slight challenge that way. Looks like we should be able to win this holy war here. Sneak this away, maybe. 
How much land do you actually have? You just have that one county. And... Let's head that way. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's unfortunate. You have to spend some money, but... I didn't grab all my army. I gotta get them up here. Shoot. Part of the problem with playing inland is that it just takes forever for your men to get there. Do we have enough for a retinue yet? Nope. Religious tension. Hmm. In where? Call me. See, where was Comey again? Here. Five percent revolt. It's already revolted. Hmm. Call me is not even part of my land. What are you doing there, silly guy? Apparently that's from when I was uh, still con controlling that land. Just go convert a random county. It's fine. We have a lower crown authority faction and a independence faction. The Duke of Novgorod is supporting it. He's fairly strong. Let's go ahead and get our spy master to scheme there. See if we can get him to get out of that faction. Basically, factions has taken over um, all of the like plotting mechanics that you used to have when it comes to, you know, lowering crown authority and all that. It's a pretty, pretty good mechanic. I think it's balanced well. Okay, some of those are done. Let's make sure that we've got town palisades. Yeah, we've already got the wooden palisades, so we can actually immediately upgrade the next level of castle, too. Pretty good income. Let's keep it going, keep it going. I'd really like for him to end his war because I want to take over all of his kingdom in one fell swoop versus having to do numerous small wars. Don't be silly. Don't rally through there. I should really probably be sieging this one. Let's go to Narva. That uh, guy who was revolting apparently ended his war, so we don't get that land this title, or this war. I have to wait. And he actually is managing to siege some of my stuff, so let's just, let's just go and kill his entire army. Now wait, you guys can stay. Let's just kill his army and then continue to press the attack. Some more castles going. Need a wooden palisade here. Castle. Upgrade that. Sure, why not? Basically, as long as we're spending our money, it's going to be a, you know, a good, good thing. I mean, any upgrade is better than no upgrade. Very foolishly losing battles because I'm just crossing rivers and not paying any attention. Oh, he wants me to join the crusade against Jerusalem. Sure, we'll help you with that, kind of, maybe, not really. Oh, gosh. This is annoying. His army is just... Hmm. We're supposed to have more power than this. We should be able to just stomp him, but instead we are not, and it's irritating.
Hmm. Yes, my son, you should be kind. So what stats do you have now? Curious about that. Charitable, brave, temperate, patient, kind. Yay. Good son. Yeah, that count found out about my plot. No worries. Ithenia has... Yes, 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 so let's uh, threaten him. Stop supporting that faction, you silly guy. I ask your forgiveness. He should. Yeah, he left the faction. This guy still has quite a bit of power some, somehow, but... We suffer an opinion hit with him, but he doesn't support the faction, so... There's always that. And, uh, gosh, this is annoying. He actually has enough men to be... Not a big challenge, but... Seljuks are actually coming up here in numbers, 15,000 men. Let's just release and re-raise. We can get a few more men that way. It takes time for them to rally, but there are not enough men to be very effective. Could hire mercenaries, but I'd rather just keep upgrading holdings. like playing whack-a-mole. Hmm. All right, come on now. Let's finish these wars up. These have taken far too long. That's unfortunate. Probably going to put us above the limit, I think, for this county. Nope. 22,000. Actually, can go there. Now, even if he sieges the holdings and actually is the one that, uh, that, like, does all the work, we still are the victors. So, that's actually pretty nice of him to come all the way up here and help us. Nice guy, he is. Yeah, if you could just go ahead and surrender. What's this here? Oh, that single count has actually got positive. He's, I have never even tried to siege him, so he's actually winning the war. It's funny. Right, so let us finish this one. And are we there yet? Nope, not quite. Why is this not at 100%? So we just need to head back through Ingra on our way up here to however the heck you would pronounce that. Hey, I've lost Lustful. Slowly but surely, I'm, I'm losing all my traits. Oh no! I died in battle. <laughs> okay, things will get interesting now. Um... So now we're not going to have any of the benefits that we had just recently. Fortunately, I'm almost my, my kid here is almost 16, Khan Tyrion II. Um, so he will be able to get married soon, but we're over our domain limit. And we have virtually no prestige, no piety. We have a lot of money. But um, we shall see. The vassals will be pretty mixed bag to begin with. We won't have any of the benefits of 
having given titles away, because my father gave the titles, not me. So it's it's much more balanced now as far as their opinions go, and uh, we'll see if I can hold the realm together. It's always about succession. When you get big realms, it's about how well you can keep the succession. That'll be difficult because I've got maximum taxes and laws and things, but uh, we'll see. So I actually am going to end it here, and uh, I'll come back soon to play as Khan Tyrion II. So thank you so much for watching. See you soon.